we're talking about an issue that is hard to ignore. The cost of living crisis means everyday life is more expensive than before. And today we're speaking to an expert to understand why it's happening and hearing from you guys too. Ricky has this special report. Living costs continue to rise. Cost of living. Rising prices. We talk a lot about the cost of living. It's something you've probably heard a lot about and it's called the cost of living. <laughs> and it's something many of us are experiencing right now. And while it may be affecting people in different ways, it is hard to avoid. Energy bills are up hundreds of pounds, car journeys cost more money, and so does the price of food. Hello Newsround, I'm Martin. The cost of living crisis, in simple terms, means everything is getting more expensive. Now, this is measured by what we call inflation, and that simply means how much more expensive are things now compared to a year ago. And it's roughly, it's actually a little bit less, but let's call it 10% for ease, which means something that cost £100 a year ago now costs £110. We'll get to the reasons behind these price rises in a bit, but first, let's hear from you. This is something that's having a huge impact on millions of children's lives. I've come to a small town outside of Bradford to meet Charlie to find out how it's impacting him and his mum and dad. Oh, he's here, he's here. Oh, hi. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Can I come in? Yeah, sure. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right, thank you. 11-year-old Charlie loves gaming. He enjoys going for walks and he's a talented singer too. Can you tell us how those rising costs have affected you and your family? We have to go to cheaper places now because stuff have got so much more expensive and we can't go on as many car journeys because it's very, very expensive for fuel. Fuel has, has risen straight up like really fast so we can't go on as many car trips i love going on car trips i can't have my computers where i like do video editing and stuff have you made sure your ipad's not on charge uh, if it gets to like 30 percent i'll turn it off it's a lot more money now because electric bills have arisen i have some sensory lights in my bedroom and i love them being on but i can only i used to have them on all day but i can only have them on for an hour now and after school clubs have also taken a hit my singing lessons, I'm having to do them a lot less. It makes me feel really sad how I, 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 we have to cut down on a lot of things that I love because, you know, it's got so expensive now. So how was your day at school, Charlie? Charlie's parents have had to make some big changes to make sure they can afford to pay the bills, but say it's still very tough. So let's try and get to the bottom of what's going on. Can you tell us, Martin, why we're having this cost of living crisis right now? Perhaps the biggest one that's happening all over the world is now we're recovering from the pandemic and more people are going back to work. There's been a big increase in the demand for oil. Now, that doesn't sound like it would affect everything, but it does. We turn it into petrol to power our cars and factories use it and it's used in power stations to give electricity. And because there's more demand and more people want it, so they'll pay more for it, the price shoots up. It's not just oil. The conflict in Ukraine is playing a part. The country produces a huge amount of wheat, the stuff we use to make bread, and getting that wheat here is very difficult right now. And that's also pushing up food prices. And that's not all. Some say this is a reason, some say it isn't a reason. It's since we have left the European Union and our relationship with the European Union has changed, some people believe that that has made things a bit more difficult in the short term, and that is another cause of the cost of living crisis. Some people say exactly the opposite, and it would have been worse if we hadn't left the European Union. And I'm afraid on issues like this, grown-ups don't necessarily agree what the cause is, but one thing we all do know, I'm afraid there really is a cost of living crisis on right now. Charlie says he's spoken to his parents about money, but he's still worried about what might happen. He's trying to help wherever he can. We have to put stuff like heating on at night and the washing machine we have to put on at night because that's when it's cheaper. And in winter, because it because it, it, it shot up the costs in winter, we couldn't put the heating on, so it was very like, 
it was a lot more expensive, so it was freezing. <laughs> well, at first, when all this started happening, I thought, I can't do anything anymore. But then I realised there's so many things you can do without spending money. Just try your best not to let it bother you and go on more walks and stuff and do stuff outside because that don't cost a thing if you walk local. You don't have to go anywhere far. Well, you can read more about this story over on the Newsround website, including what the governments around the UK are doing to help people.